TDI guys, a few pointers for you. We're talking about BRMs today. 1.9, single overhead, engine code, BRM, Bravo Romeo Mike. So, a few seriously important things on these motors when you're doing a timing belt change, whether you're doing a change for the first time, or you know how to do it, or you don't know how to do it. A few important things is your lineup tools right here. You can get two different styles of these. This is my favorite one. You thread it in. There's a dowel hole right here. You can see it right yonder. You put that in there. You line it up. Of course, you got to line up your cam in the first place. And there should be a hole. You'll see it line up. It lines up right there. It's going to be at about... Mm. That's going to be almost at our 11 o'clock, 10 o'clock position right the back here on this pulley. Anyways, line this up and make sure they both line up at the same time. Get them pinned, locked in there so you don't rotate while you're changing your belt out. Another important thing, when you do successfully put your new belt on, something that people really forget to do and they don't do it is... After you've got it lined up, after you've loosened these and tightened them back up, you can always see where they were because you'll see the scratching on the pulley itself. A real important thing to do after you think you're lined and locked is take your 19 millimeter and rotate this motor at least a couple of times, maybe three times. Rotate it all the way. If you want to make it easier, go ahead and take the glow plugs out so you lose compression so it's easier to roll over. Now. Make sure when you rotate it over, you're listening for anything strange. You watch the belt, make sure the pulleys, everything's lined up. If it goes smooth, then you're in the green. If you're hitting something or it's not rotating like it should, something's up. Go ahead and pin your crank, pin your cam again. Think about what's going on. Just make sure you rotate the motor because as soon as you hit that starter, boy, let me tell you, you're probably going to hit a valve if you haven't got it lined up correctly. Another thing that's very important, I see this all the time, not so much on Volkswagen motors, but there's always that guy that likes to over tighten stuff. People love to over tighten stuff, let me tell you. They think you only get one chance, if it comes loose, well, if it comes loose you can always tighten it again, but you have to get these timing belt tensioners right the first time, <laughs> otherwise there is no going back and re-tightening. So let me show you what happened here. So this is just like it should be. It's tightened, it's set, and there's a little arrow. You can see right here, it should be right in the groove. It should line up exactly. No, it's not lined up because it's not tight right now, but it should be right in that median of those two pieces directly in the center of it. This is just for show. So make sure to go ahead and line that up. Another thing, folks, is like I was saying, do not over tighten that. It should be 15 foot pounds plus just a tiny smidge bit more. That's what most guys usually do. Half a turn or a quarter turn. This is what happens when you over tighten them. This is what happened on this motor, unfortunately. It was over tightened. It probably worked for quite a while, then he romped on it and it broke that uh, stud right off and killed this motor. Did a little smashing on the cylinder up here. Not too bad. Not not bad at all. I've seen a lot worse in these little Volkswagen motors where a timing belt breaks or it comes off or whatever it may be. But you can see, we'll call it a bucket. See how it's stuck in there? I can't get it out. All the other cylinders were fine. We'll go ahead and look on the bottom of this head real quick. You see that? The valve is definitely bent. I want to say that he got off pretty easy. But then again, you never know until you look under there. When you snap a timing belt, you might just be better off looking for a low mileage motor. So, try to avoid that. Now it is 15 foot pounds on idler. 
15 foot pounds on the tensioner as well. So make sure you're doing it right. And that's foot pounds, not inch pounds, newton meters, foot pounds. So like I said, make sure you rotate the engine completely at least two times. Make sure nothing's hitting, your belt's tight, and do not, folks, do not over tighten anything on a motor. I watch guys over tighten valve cover nuts and bolts all the time and break them off. What's the reason for over tightening a valve cover bolt? Seriously, if it leaks, put a little bit more on it, but don't break it off in the head. I see that all the time, ridiculous. Hope this helps.